here is an overview of how I use Thumbnailer. I'm going to show you that I open up my hard drive here and I am on a Mac. When I go into the Applications folder, you'll see, let me view by list here, you'll see uh, that I've got the Embrilliance program here and that's going to be Essentials and Stitch Artist and um, so those programs are there and then I also have Embrilliance Thumbnailer. It is a separate program so I just wanted you to see that those two are separate from each other. Now when I after I've installed it and I open it up you'll see that this window only allows me to go in and select which file types I want to be able to preview via icon. Now, for this demonstration, I unchecked a lot of them so that I could show you what it looks like when some of the embroidery file types are checked and some are not. I, in particular, have uh, a several brother machines and so the PES file is the one that I open up all the time and of course the Embrilliance file types. All of these other file types um, I don't usually open and um, so for the sake of this demonstration I unchecked them. Out of the box or upon install all of these will be checked so it's just up to you whether you want to uncheck them or not. Now, from this point, I'm just going to click OK. And at this point, I should now be able to preview or see what the files are that I have installed and give a, a, get a small preview of, of the actual stitch out. I have a folder here that I downloaded um, with some embroidery files. I'm going to open this up, and you'll see that I've got four by four um, examples, I've got five by seven files, and I've got the six by 10, seven by 11, and a whole bunch of file types that I don't usually use. There's my PES, and you'll notice that I can kind of see something going on there. Now, I like list view most of the time because everything's in alphabetical order, and I just like the order of it. If you wanna see it in a little bit larger view, you can come up here to these view areas, uh, view icons, and if I click on the icon of view, now things get a little bit more interesting. Here's my PES file, and I can see it. Notice I can't see anything going on with the SEW file. I didn't have those checked in Thumbnailer. Also, you'll notice down in the bottom right-hand corner of this window, I have the ability to grow these icons and make them a little bit bigger. So now I really can see what these files are. Now, as a Mac user, one more step. Notice I just, I just clicked, just one time, click. If I press the space bar, I get a full view of what this file is. Close that out. So I can really see to pretty great detail now, um, just by clicking, get a thumbnail or an icon view because we've installed Thumbnailer. And then because I'm on a Mac, if I press the space bar, now I get a really nice size view using Quick Look.